Is that better? It's good, it's good. All right, uh, hey, I'm Ricky Ray Taylor, talking to Veronica Jeffrey. Hi. Hey, Veronica, what's up? How you doing? I'm fine, and you? Doing good, doing good. All right, Veronica is a pro fighter, right? You got, uh, you got four, four fights? Six. Six fights. What's your record? Six and oh. Six and oh. Look, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, you two brothers is going to. This chick can fight. This girl can fight. I've seen she's nice, man. I mean, real nice. So, um, so how long have you been boxing, Veronica? Uh, you can say it's since about 2005. So, about six years. I kind of started like in 2004, just training and stuff like that. But um, actually starting fighting in 2005. That's like the first year that I uh, like did the Golden Gloves and things like that. So, how many how much fights did you? Have? I probably had about like 30 something fights. Really? What's your record? Um, I, I think have you I lost yet? To, yeah, I did. Like when I went to nationals. I mean, in New York, I haven't lost. Like, haven't lost. Because I've only gone to three She's times. She's sick, I'm telling you. I haven't lost. But, um, you know, like uh, on the, in the nationals, I think I lost like four times. So I'm yeah. probably like 27 and four. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right. And um, say you're from where? Where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what's, uh, what are you looking at, Ryan? What do you see yourself five years from now? Hmm, hopefully with a title belt. That's yeah. that's my goal. Even if I get one, I'm right, happy. Right, right, you're down. You know, I, you know, boxing, I love boxing. Um, I don't, it's not about the money, as you know. You know, women boxing don't really make a lot of money. So, right. when you're doing it, you have to do it because you love it, not because, oh, you think that you're going to make a lot of money on it and things like that, you know? So... That's probably some advice that, that I mean you can give the, the youngsters coming up that yeah. I mean if, if you don't have a passion for it, for the training, the training is tough, isn't it? It is. It's tough because it's something that you can't just do for the time. Like you can't just like if I'm about to fight, I can't just be like, okay, so I'm gonna start training. It's something you have to do year in and year out because you know like there's never a point where you know everything, or there's never a point where something is perfect. So mm -hmm. it's something that you have to work on over and over and over until you. You know, until until you get it, and sometimes it still never becomes correct. But you know, what I'm saying just the willing to try and to correct it is what you need to do. What would you say right now is something you need to work on the most in your game? <sighs> I mean, I think it's a lot of it. I mean, I think that I, I know a little bit, but I think there's a lot of other things that I need to know. You know, like um, just being, you know, like just being like more artistic and just being more like uh, creative and. Just like, just like things that I see that guys do also that I, that a lot of women don't do, a lot of things that I don't do, you know, like things like that. That's the kind of things that I want to do. I think that um, I'm still a work in progress. I'm definitely not perfect or, you know, I'm, I'm just one of those people that just, you know, try. So it's good to be surrounded, you'd say, by um, good experienced fighters or in the gym around you and oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, even if you're not sparring with them, but just being around and watching watch them. It. I yeah. think that's how that, that's that's what that's one of the ways that I really learned how to box. Because even when I first started boxing, I used to sit down and watch it a lot, especially like watching people spar mm -hmm. and things like that. I probably spent like hours just doing that. Like even after I finished training, I'm and then you're, you're not just looking for the knockout. You're looking, you're studying the game, trying to get inside their head. Right. Exactly. What they're thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not a knockout queen. I'm, right, I'm right. the queen, but I'm not a knockout yeah, queen. <laughs> You know, so um, that's definitely never my, never the reason for me doing something. Like, I don't, I don't go in there like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to go get the snap out. You know, like, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, um, I'm going to be in there and I'm going to work. What do you eat before you fight to keep it strong? Um, I train a lot. Um, I'm not really, I don't really lift weights that much. Well, what would you say you eat? What, what, oh, what, what meal um, gets you, makes you strong? Makes, what meal makes me strong? Or do you, is there anything? I mean, some people are like have a uh, habit that they eat pasta before they fight. They think it, it you know, no, carbs or whatever. No, I just eat whatever I feel like eating. I don't really have a certain. I still eat like properly, like you eat good, chicken, right? yeah. and you know, maybe I might put a little carb in it. Maybe that's the only thing yeah. that I might make some right. like potatoes or you know. Rice right. or who's like your that. who's your trainer? Uh, uh, Leon Cat Taylor. Leon Cat Taylor. He's the yes. best, isn't he? He is. Yeah. <laughs> He's great. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ronica, we wish you the best. When are you fighting next? Thank you. I actually fight next week, uh, May 27th, out in Delaware. Do you know you're fighting here? Yeah? 
Um, no, I don't know the girl. Um, I don't remember her name, but I know that she has a couple of fights, so the I definitely have to so be prepared. She is going down. <laughs> oh. I mean, she's coming to take me down. <laughs> Whatever, so I man. Get to the same, take me down. Thought. Please. <laughs> All right, Ronald and Jeffrey, wish you the best. Uh, good luck. Out. Thanks. <laughs>